everyone and welcome to our time management workshop. Um, we are hoping to give tips and tricks on how to be the most successful while transitioning to online instruction. We would like to take note that online learning can be very isolating and disengaging. This is not something that any of us thought that would happen or any of us were expecting or are prepared for. So we would just like to give tips and tricks to students on the best way to manage our time. We find that there are a lot of resources available for parents and teachers, but not enough for students. So we're hoping that this is helpful to a few of you. One of the most crucial parts of online learning is having a steady space. If you're back at home, it might be difficult to focus with so many distractions around, but it's important to designate a study space where you are not distracted, where you have a strong connection to the internet, where you're comfortable but not too comfortable so you're still paying attention. And you also wanna make sure that you're limiting your outside distractions, so your phone, your laptop, anything that may distract you from studying and paying attention to your online lecture. So the first tip we would like to think is th to remind you to think beyond the clock. Sometimes home isn't the best environment to be learning. Um, there's a lot less structure, a lot less routine. However, this can be a positive if you take advantage of learning at your own pace. Now that classes are online, um, you can frame this and use it as an opportunity to schedule the best times for you to learn and really take advantage of that. Tip number two would be to plan your time and tasks out, to keep a calendar and follow a routine. Following a routine helps us be more efficient. It reduces our need to plan and create structure in our lives. A lot of us no longer have structure. We're back at home. Um, we're no longer needing to work or no longer have opportunity to work. Um, less extracurricular activities, involvement, and no need to go to physical classes and tutoring sessions. Um, it can be kind of difficult to maintain focus and motivation, and we believe that having a calendar would really help with that. Um, so something that I personally keep is a Google Calendar, and I find it to be very helpful. You'll notice that the week is indicated right here, so week one, um, all the lectures are also indicated, so lectures that are live are indicated, um, lectures that you need to watch are indicated, um, also setting aside time for reading, setting aside time for other activities like running would also be helpful. Um, yes. So tip number three would be to form study groups. Just because we're doing remote instruction doesn't mean we have to study alone. and Studying with your classmates can also be a way to keep you accountable. Um, study groups can be found through Gaucho Space or Zoom chats. If your professor is holding online lectures and Zoom chat is open, you could possibly ask if anyone's interested in forming a group, study group with you and finding classmates that way. Gaucho Space would be another manner of which you can find a study group. Uh, you can search forums and add a new discussion and ask questions, or you can ask if any of your classmates are interested in forming a study group. Tip number four would be to frequently check in on how you're doing. If your professors and TAs are still holding office hours through Zoom or through email, that would be ideal to continuously check in with them throughout the quarter. And also finding a virtual mentor perhaps, or just continuing to make sure that you're checking in with yourself academically. In that same note, it's also important to continue to check in on how you're doing in terms of your social and emotional health. The times we're in, there's a lot of uncertainty and it's important to continue to feel as comfortable and as safe as we can. And this means connecting with your friends and family and our support systems in the best way we can and to remember to eat, rest and stay healthy. That is it for this workshop. We hope you find it helpful and have a successful spring quarter.